Okay. Uh, 30 seconds to entry. As we come up on entry, uh, we'll expect a two to three second outage in the X-Man signal as we switch from the PLGA to the TLJ. We're switching the TLJ, signal's dropped, and it's... We just saw the signal drop then in case we change antennas. We're seeing heartbeat tones again after the switch. Things are looking good. Uh, yeah, tones back again. Coming up on entry. At this time, it'll begin pressurizing the propulsion system to increase the thrust of the system. Uh, we'll use that for all the maneuvering in the atmosphere we're about to do. Back to heartbeat tones. We are standing by for guided start and the start of guided entry. The vehicle is just reported via tones that it has started guided entry. First bank reversal complete. We have seen peak deceleration. We have passed through peak heating and peak deceleration. Uh, it is reporting that we are seeing G's on the order of uh, 11 to 12 Earth G's. We are processing data from Odyssey. Bank reversal two is starting. We are now getting telemetry from Odyssey. All right. Bank reversal two complete. We have a connection, but we actually do not have any data yet. Copy. We can expect some intermittent contact at this time as the uh, signal gets there increases go. to Bank respective level. There we go. We are now seeing and we have RCDP. Okay, copy. To and visualization is updated. We have entered heading alignment. There it goes. At this time, Curiosity is no longer trying to control how far it's flying downrange and is just heading directly for the target. End of range control. Air use minus 1.2 kilometers. Minus 1.2. 1.2. The EL team is reporting that uh, we are uh, that things look pretty good at the end of range control. We have controlled, we have converged uh, a lot of the error, and we should be heading for the target. Flight EDL, uh, TDS warning is okay. Copy. Power on. We are seeing a tone from the one uh, indicating that we uh, have seen uh, we have seen heating on the heat shield uh, through the MEPI instrument. Uh, everything looks fine. This is as expected. During the setting alignment phase, we're flying almost horizontally like a plane. We're going about Mach 2.4 at an altitude of 17 kilometers or so. <laughs> Vehicles continue to decelerate. We're down to about Mach 2. As a reminder, we should have parachute deploy around Mach 1.7. Parachute deploy. Parachute. <laughs> have been re-enabled. Uh, we will control our attitude on shoot. We are decelerating. Oh. Risk mode under our parachute. Our parachute accelerated and, 20 and descending. We are at 150 per meters per second. Dynamics phase. Come back again with uh, risk mode dynamics. Here's a second. We've acquired the ground with the radar. An altitude of 8 kilometers. Feet chill step has separated where we found the ground. Expand tones due to earth occultation as expected. We're standing by to prime the Emily engines in preparation for power flight. We're down to 90 meters per second at an altitude of 6.5 kilometers and descending. Flight EDL, we've got some Tweedo warnings. It is in battle short mode, so I should power through them. Director of communications at this time. We may have lost it already. We're down to 86 meters per second at an altitude of 4 kilometers and descending. We've lost, act we've lost tones from Earth at this time. This is expected. Uh, We're continuing on Odyssey telemetry. Ground solution equals minus 10.8 meters. Vertical velocity of minus 80.8 meters per second. We are priming power to start enabled. Standing by for batch shell separation. Signal's Odyssey is still strong. We are in powered flight. Yeah. We're at an altitude of one kilometer descending, about 70 meters per second. Signal to Odyssey remains down to 50 meters per second. 
500 meters in altitude. Standing by for sky crane. Down to 10 meters per second. 40 meters altitude. Sky crane is started. Descending at about 0.75 meters per second as expected. Expecting bridal cut shortly. Single to us, you remain strong. Yeah. Uh, you do a calm configure. Review stable. Review stable. Oh, stable. Oh, UHF is good. Yes. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. Off, waiting for images. Heads up, folks! PL Ops, the signal to Odyssey remains strong. Fly EDL, images are starting to come down. We're beginning to get images. Right, we got images from coming down, Chuck. We do a comp configure standby for images. Down. We have seen thumbnails coming down. Odyssey data is still strong. Odyssey data is very strong. Odyssey is nice and high in the sky. <laughs> At this time, we're standing by for images. Thumbnails are complete. We got thumbnails. Poland is complete. time we thought we would and we now have our first image we have our first image um, this we've got it's a 64 by 64 thumbnail the front a rear has cam image you can see the shadow there um, I'm, I'm not sure exactly which our orientation is of the vehicle but uh, we're looking through it now you, I think in a, just a few minutes we might get even a, a two a, a larger 250 to 256 uh, frame uh, 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 pixel image shadow of this late afternoon Sun uh, and uh, well, uh. So these are the rear house cams. These are the rear house cams. And, and it so does have a dust cover on it. It this does point. have a dust cover, but it's the dust that covers the problem. It's the fact there's dust in the air because we have just blown dust all over the place with our descent engines. So there could be more. There could be more. If we get, if we wait, we might get. Oh yeah! Ah. This is the high risk. This is the 256 by 256 image. This is a higher resolution. You see dust particles on the window. Uh, 
you can see the horizon there in the background. And there is, there is the wheel of the rover safely on the surface of Mars. I can't believe this. It's unbelievable. And we should, might get another one of these. And if we're lucky, before Odyssey goes away, we'll get two more of these same injuries going the other side of the vehicle. And also probably dusty. This is amazing. So that is one of Curiosity's rover wheels, wheels exactly. on the surface of Mars. Yes. Whoa, wow. We, now we have another, it's another image coming down. This is a view looking the other direction. There's still, it's still being processed. You'll see it in just a second here. It's another, this is a, another thumbnail image. Is that a shadow? That's the shadow of the of rover. Curiosity rover on the surface of Mars. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Odyssey transition is about to end. Uh, it's about to set below the peak of Mount Sharp very shortly. Uh, so this is about all the data we're going to get, but things look great. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you.